There's at least three interesting things you can talk about with any 3D shapes and that is how many faces does it have, how many vertices does it have and how many edges does it have. This video is going to be about 3D shapes, 3D shapes, let's do a simple line, vertices, edges and faces. What are each of those things? Let's do a quick sample of different 3D shapes. First sample, uh, you could talk about a cube. Here's a cube, and a cube is made up of squares. And each side is joined up. In a cube, all the sides are equal and all the faces have the same area. What is a, vertice, a vertex, or a plural vertices? A vertex is a corner. Let's actually write that down. A vertex, or vertice, vertices, vertex equals a corner. That's two lines joined together. How many corners does a cube have? I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it has eight vertices. What's an edge? An edge is just a straight line. An edge equals a straight line. How many edges does a cube have? It has one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four for a total of twelve. That's twelve edges in a cube. And what's a face? I guess the best way to remember what a face is, it's it's just a surface, a surface. How many surfaces? does a cube have? Well, it would have one at the front, one at the back, one at the side, another at the right hand side, that's four so far, one at the top, five, and one at the base, six. So it has six faces. Okie doke, let's do a new shape. How about a triangular prism? triangular prism is a 3D triangle like so. How many edges would a triangular prism have? Well you can count them. It would be, let's do it in a different colour, let's do it in black, it would be one, two, yes, you can't quite see that, uh, one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the nine edges. How many vertex, vertices I should say, has one, two, three, four, five, six. So six vertices. How many faces? One on the side there, one at the back, that's two. It has the floor here, three and the left hand side, four, and finally the front, five. So it has five faces. Okay, let us do another shape. Maybe one's a bit less common. How about a triangular pyramid? What a triangular pyramid is, it's a pyramid where the base is a triangle, and then it all the corners meet up at one point, making it a pyramid. So this would be an example, if you can imagine it in your head, of a triangular prism. Sorry, of a triangular a pyramid. Okay, how many uh, vertices does it have? It has one at the top here, and another one at each of the corners of the base, so two, three, four. That's four vertices. 
How many edges does it have? Well, three on the base, one, two, three, and three going up, four, five, six. So six edges. How many faces? Well, it has the base, which is one face, and three faces on each side, two, three, four. So four faces. Let's do another uncommon one. A square-based pyramid. A square-based pyramid. The only difference between a square-based pyramid and a triangular-based pyramid is, as you'd imagine, it has a square base. So it starts from a square and each of the corners meet up in one place as before. Like so. It has how many edges? Well, four on the base and four going up, so eight edges. How many corners? Four on the four corners of the base and one at the top, so that's five. And how many faces? One at the base and four along the sides, so five, five faces. Just to end, let's do one really fancy shape. This doesn't really come up in exams, but it's fun to look at. How about a sphere? A sphere. Oops, that would not be a good way of drawing a sphere with a line. A sphere is, of course, a 3D circle. So a circle, and let's try and make it look, look a little bit 3D by doing that. It's a 3D circle. Actually, some mathematicians can't even agree about vertices and edges and faces with a sphere. But what would you guess uh, how many vertices it's got? It's actually got none. It's got no corners because it doesn't have any straight lines. How many edges has it got? Well, again, none because it's got no straight lines. And how many faces? Well, this is where they disagree most. Is a f surface a flat plane or is it? can it be curved? If it can be curved, it's got one face. If, it, if a surface can't be curved, then a sphere doesn't actually have any faces at all.